Hey, what's going on, y'all? This your boy, Jay Sewell. You know, uh, just about to give my review of the Dante Wilder fight versus uh, Du Hoppus. Uh For overall, it was a pretty good fight. I mean, it was pretty action-packed. I mean, you know, um, I'm glad Dante Wilder got some rounds in because, you know, fighters like him, they don't need to always end fights and knockout because sometimes you got to prepare yourself when you fight a tougher guy that's not going to go down. But, you know, he ended up stopping the guy, I think, in the, in the 11th round. But I just saw some things that Wilder need to work on. Like, if you looking at the uh, footage that I'm showing you, you know, Wilder's telegraphing too many of his punches. He's not feigning. Um, he needs to work on coming up with uh, counter punches, trying to land a check hook. See, right there, telegraphing his punches. You know, so that's why it was hard for him to land something flush to the guy's face. But, you know, he get, did some good work landing on top of the guy's head, you know, breaking the guy down systematically to where eventually he got the stoppage. But Dante Wilder, I think he's still, he's still learning on the job. And I think he's still like a year away from like Klitschko because there's still some things he need to work on. I don't know if Mark Breland is the trainer for Dante Wilder to advance to the next level where he needs to be. But like I said, it was a good fight. You know, he, he did some good things. He ended up stopping the guy. It was an entertaining fight. But I just seen some things that Wilder need to work on, like right there, you know, still telegraphing his punches, you know, not fainting, you know, just coming in. Like I said, if somebody can teach him that, then possibly the sky's the limit from Wilder. I don't see him losing a fight for a long time. But um, anyway, that's my take on the fight. You know, let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I think Wilder is still learning on the job. Remember, this guy didn't start boxing until he was around, I think, 18, 19. So for what he's done, you know, from 19 to 29, it's pretty good. But I just see a lot of things he could work on that could help him advance. Just some technique things. Like I say, need to learn how to feint need to lo know how to counter better need to try some other things you know set traps you know try to land a check hook and stop telegraphing his punches so much but like i said he's getting better so i'm out